Greetings, giving thanks. Raj reports, headline enemy of sin. Blessed to be here today. Beautiful day here in Florida. A little cloudy. That's okay. And I'm going to wait for this truck to drive by. And so, the way I see it is if, you know, when I first started YouTube, I had a misconception. I thought that, you know, you make a video and all these people are going to see it, right? Don't make a video unless you want everybody to see it. Isn't that what they tell us? Don't put anything on social media unless you would want everyone in the world to see it. Well, I support people who want change, but if you require money, to do your work, then you're not an activist. We purely sacrifice our lives and our time. Nobody has to see it. We know. Now, I've experienced quite the opposite of what I anticipated, which, to take a step back and look at, it, I would see it no other way. If I had come on here and began to deliver these videos, and tomorrow morning, I woke up and I had, it blew up, you know, it was viral. Then I would have to question my own legitimacy. The whole objective of the Defense Department, which is the largest employer in the world, was to produce idols, idolatry, that which was made with man's hands. These people are bought out, our politicians are sold out. They become masters at deception. And that's all they can do. So when you sit there and you look at them, you say, well, if anybody speaks against them, they're just haters. They're just jealousy. Well, they got you. They got you under their spell. I don't expect views. I don't expect that there's algorithms, that the system is engineered as to project someone as myself out there. And I know I'm not the only one. If we look into the horizon, we see what the weather is. We see the storm coming. And we put it out there. And then next thing you know, it starts raining. But we say, thank you, Lord, because the Lord has revealed unto us the light. Something that they never possess, something they can never understand. They think wisdom is getting together in a group. Getting together in a group and doing a workshop. They think wisdom is probably paying for college. I'm going to tell you something. I got two degrees. And it ain't wisdom. College set me back. Because what they do is they, they block out. They have a way of blocking out all these, these events, these, these um, intricate pieces of reality. And they, they channel your vision into one mode, which is corporate. Go work for the man. Learn the skill. Prof uh, become a professional at this one skill. Don't never do nothing else. If you ever need anything else done, if you need your ass wiped, you gotta hire a mate and pay them because it's capitalism. They they got professional ass wipers now. Okay, we're civilized. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna channel you into one little area, little cubicle. You can sit in there all day, take calls. By the way, we're giving you a smartphone for free. So why should somebody like myself assume that the technology is going to work on my behalf? I already knew it wasn't. But nevertheless, as I sit there from day to day, year after year, listening to these people into my ears, trying to tell me a lie, and yet I know it's a lie. Sometime you got to speak out. Throughout history, it has been the inaction of those who could have acted, the indifference of those who should have known better, and the silence of the voice of justice when it mattered most that allowed it possible for evil to prevail.